and said, Coach, you've got this freak linebacker that started as a freshman at Lowndes High School, led the team in tackles for the six games that he played, and I'm expecting he's a five-star, blue-chip, SEC-type recruit, and I'm expecting this kid to walk through the door and just be some behemoth of a man, and he walks in just as unassuming as you can be. I think in the community they call him Superman, um, and that's come up, followed him from rec league all the way to where we are now. But you know, knowing that when it comes, you know, comes time where we need to have a play made, comes times we need to have that leader on defense, whether it's some bout of adversity, some opportunity where things aren't going extremely well, everybody's gonna look to Coleman. Started late as a freshman last year, or last season, and then I ended up leading the team in tackles. Uh, I like inside because I like to uh, control, I guess, what everybody does or what plays, call out stuff. I think I do control the defense pretty well or just communicate with everybody and everybody listens to me. Yeah, it was very challenging, I think. I mean, everybody just thought, oh, he's a freshman and whatever. I mean, they just, I guess you just got to earn your respect. Where I think Coleman really sets himself apart is, you know, the open field tackling, which is big nowadays in the college game and the professional game, that not only can he fit the B-gap tackles, but he can also, you know, cover running back in the flat or do something where he's, you know, got to be more of an athlete on the perimeter. What we're trying to push Coleman to be is he's going to do everything right. He's going to be an unbelievable in the classroom. He's going to be unbelievable. Those things we talk about off the field, great leader. But you look at it again, he's 15 year old. He's still a sophomore, but he has the street cred because he started as a freshman. There's not very many people that say they started as a freshman at Lowndes High School. Um, so getting him to come out of his shell a little bit, getting him to be that leader on defense. And even though by class, he's just a sophomore, he's still the kid that other guys around him look up to. As a kid, I've always dreamed of, I guess, of playing on this field, and I've always looked up to certain players. And now that I'm actually on the field or leading the defense or whatever, I think that little kids could look up to me as well, and it just makes me feel better about myself. First time, it definitely gave me chills. I was pretty nervous at first, but after I, I mean, just got into it, it just made me feel better. It's just always what I've dreamed of is just playing on this field. I definitely think once you play into a uh, bigger environment, it's just probably even a better feeling than it is now. I mean, you have the band always playing, and it just makes you feel good. I have uh, five offers. You got five offers as a freshman. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Um, of course, it's very successful, I think, and um, I think you should never stop working or whatever just because you just got successful real early, but it's very exciting. Coleman's got that cred that comes with, I've done it before on a Friday night, I did it when I was called into duty, because he still played a full freshman season last year, and it was just put in at the end of a game because someone else got hurt. And once he got put in, he never came out and ended up leading the team the final six games. So those guys are going to look to him no matter what. Now he just has to embrace that role and understand whether he wants to be that guy or not, he's already that guy because of what he's already done here. Uh, I believe that you should always push yourself and keep going. There's never a stopping point to your success.